Google recently released a big update to its Chrome application that brought its stable branch up to version 94. Now with this release, the company has decided to test a new RSS powered web feed system with, the, with a wider user base. And I'm gonna show you how to both enable that as well as demonstrate how that works in this video today. Now, this feature may not ever make it as a user-facing feature, but right now it's becoming quite useful for those who like to follow specific websites and the content that those websites produce. And while this technically does not require a website to offer an RSS feed, it does help, but Google will actually default back to its own content index for websites if they do not offer this RSS feed feature. Now, first we want to enable this feature. So to do that, we need to go to the experimental Chrome flags page. And we do that by going to the address field and typing out this address. So you type out Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now we do not type any www here. We do not type out a .com. We just type out chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and press enter. When we do that, we are then going to search for the word feed. And you're gonna get a lot of options here with the word feed in there, but we want to ignore them all except for the one labeled web feed. It should be toward the bottom, but once enabled, it comes to the top. So we're going to tap the button and select the enabled option. With that done, we should get a blue relaunch button down at the bottom. We're just gonna go ahead and relaunch that application. It's gonna close out Chrome, open it back up with the web feed feature enabled. Now once you have enabled this web feed RSS feature for Chrome, you just want to go to a regular website, a website that you are interested in and that you likely want to follow the content produced by that website. You can reload the page if you're already there, but we just want to go to a specific website and then tap the three dot menu icon at the top right of the Chrome application. Now, if you enable the, the web feed experimental feature, you should see a following option at the very bottom of this overflow menu. You can see this overflow menu likely will scroll because of the added option. But right there, we're gonna see a follow button. If we have already followed a website, you're gonna see it set to following. And we can unfollow by simply tapping that button. So the follow button will look like this. And we're just going to follow that website. Now remember, this is something that we want to do for multiple websites that we are interested in. So again, say we went to the XDA developers website, we're gonna make sure that we are following this source. Same thing for Android police. Droid Life, any other websites that you are interested in that you want to follow its content, tap the three dot menu and then tap the follow button there at the bottom. Now it looks like the whole point of this web feed feature within Chrome is to offer you a set of articles to read. Now you may know this already with the discover feed a lot of people are not a fan of the Discover tab. It tends to recommend a lot of clickbait articles. Even though you can customize the sources here, it's not as fine-tuned as specifically subscribing to websites. So after you have enabled the web feed feature, when you go to the new tab page, you should see a new option here called following. We can still access our Discover articles here, but if we only want to see sources that we are specifically following, 
then we have a following tab right here. And you can see we are following the XDA developers website. So they're going to offer up some content from that website. I'm also following Droid Life as you just saw. So again, they're going to offer content from that website. After using this feature for a little bit, I can't say that it's replaced the website that I currently use to monitor RSS, RSS feeds that I subscribe to. I use a website called NO Reader that has replaced Google Reader for me. But I will say that it is quite useful for those quick tidbits of news articles that I want to catch up on throughout the day from websites that I specifically want to read from. In my opinion, this works better than Google Discover. Since I can customize which websites I see in this card style format, and it also prevents me from seeing content that I don't care to see, which again happened a lot in Google Discover with the clickbait type articles. So that is the new experimental web feed feature that has been introduced into Chrome. You can try this out right now on the stable build of Chrome. It's available in this format through, the, through version 94 of Chrome. We could see this pushed to a user facing feature like mentioned before, but Google is going to collect a bunch of feedback from both publishers and users before deciding whether to launch this experiment or not.